Near the small Israeli village of Gan Yoshia is a ranch with a difference. It's named the safe haven for donkeys in the Holy Land. A retirement home comes shelter for donkeys and horses, many of whom were abandoned. Lucy, the owner-manager, has been doing this for 20 years after being shocked by the mistreatment she saw around her. Probably one of the worst things I've seen is um, a donkey that was actually strapped with explosives um, by Palestinian uh, militants and sent in the direction of an Israeli army checkpoint, um, and it did obviously detonate. A few miles away, the sanctuary opens its doors twice a month for a free field clinic. Today, there's around 150 patients whose owners have come from all over the region. For the attending vet, it sets an example that others would do well to follow. We treat all animals the same, whether they're Israeli or not. They live together without any problems, so why aren't we able to live like they do? Because we think we're smarter than the Creator himself. At the safe haven, Palestinian and Israeli activists work together for the well-being of the animals. It's a successful cooperation which is much appreciated by Lucy as well as her four-legged clients. I know. I know.